Sarah Stocks, Eli Lilly, and Novo Nordis topping the tape today on the back of strong earnings from Lilly and positive obesity drug data from Novo. Lilly beating on the top and the bottom lines before the bell and raising full year guidance on the back of strong sales of its diabetes drug Monjaro. Meantime, trials showed Novo Nordis' Wigovi lowered the risk of major cardiovascular events by 20 percent. Both stocks closing at all-time highs today. We were just talking to Jared Holtz uh, of Mizuho yesterday, and he was saying, you know, 18 percent would be great. 20 percent was really knocking out of the park here, Tim. Yeah, and, and I think you have an opportunity for analysts to upgrade the stock given the obesity study and the, the addressable market, the ability to at least gauge how much of this is kind of one-off dynamics, how perpetual and, and uh, uh, residual the follow-on might be. It, it's really what you're willing to pay for it. I mean, this is, this is the NVIDIA of pharma. Um, what do you do here? Um, these numbers were as maybe not quite NVIDIA-like relative to the peer group, but I tell you what, they were extraordinary when the bar was very, very high. Um, I, I, I have trouble with the valuation. I think, yeah. I think this is coming back to earth. It's the NVIDIA Pharma, except that this time NVIDIA is out with a chip that, that people will get paid uh, to accept. Right. I mean, the, the importance of this study is that healthcare will now pay for this drug because it actually reduces the you know, cardiovascular events. And so that's a game changer in terms of total addressable market. Game changer. And think about it. A year ago, we were talking about this stock. We we're talking about the prospects with this Alzheimer's drug. And the stock has since rallied 80%. When you think about that, it's a half a trillion dollar market cap. And I think yeah. I just heard that um, last year, Monjourno was $16 million in sales. This year, it's going to be a billion. And some of the estimates Jared was saying is maybe a $100 billion drug annually. Um, I don't know how you get comfortable. You look at Novo and you look at this, and they have a combined trillion dollar market cap, I think the valuations are getting a bit stretched. You had times to buy both of these stocks this year. I don't think you chase them like this right well, now. Well, you're actually, you know, Tim mentioned NVIDIA of healthcare. Yeah. You mentioned it sort of felt AI bubbly. Well, hey, listen, yeah. themes are in a market like this where there's a lot of uncertainty and there's valuation trepidation, you want to lock into multi-year themes. I think that's what's going on. I think, it's a, I think it's a good comparison in a way, but like, listen, we've seen this in technology. We saw NVIDIA sell off 75% from its highs in 2021 because all of the themes that they were playing really well up until that point, gaming, Web3, AR, VR, crypto mining, all that sort of thing, right. they all fell by the wayside. There's no slam dunks here. It's so tempting to want to fade a move like this, but when you go back and look at the history of the chart, eight times in the last five years, Lily's tested the 200-day. Every single time it's rallied from it. We were there several months ago. We rallied hard off of it. I think you stick with the longer-term trend here. 